Welcome back to the channel. So glad to have you here. Well, today I'm furthering along my solo efforts of albums, and I'm up to 1981 with Paul McCartney and The Rock for Campuchia. This concert took place in March of 81 in London, England, with help with a lot of other people in this uh, concert benefit, which was a really good concert. So starting off is my vinyl copy of Rock for Campuchia. Here's the back of it. And I thought I'd zoom in a little closer so you could see who some of the artists are on this great album. So just to show you the inside, here's a couple of the pictures of the people there in that country. And another photo. Just unbelievable. I am so truly blessed and happy to have food on my table every single day. And um, I couldn't imagine going without food. I mean, these people that were starving and going without, I feel so sorry for each and every one of them of uh, not being able to have a meal. Uh, but for those of you that are my viewers, and I'm sure you're probably like me, you haven't missed too many meals, and we're all of us are absolutely incredibly blessed to uh, be able to have food on the table and provide for ourselves and stuff like that. Sad to say these people couldn't. So it's great to have such a big event like this for raising money for them. It was really great to see all these rock stars that showed up to perform at this concert to raise money. Some really good musical groups, that's for sure. And some more of the performers that were there at the concert as well. But for me, I enjoyed all of it. But the big headline was this guy, Sir Paul McCartney. Well, that's before he became a sir, but there he is, Paul McCartney. This was on a two record set. Very nice to get this. And I bought this originally when it came out. So I've kind of had this in my collection for many years, but it still sounds great still enjoy it they really need to put this out as a regular uh, DVD too that would be fantastic if they came out with this with the whole concert not just partial clips it'd be great to have the whole thing this is an unauthorized live version of that rock for Campuchia really kind of cool with the Obi and uh, the whole thing it's a two record set as well but it's a good one and the back of it and just the performance of Paul is on this album and it's a two record set and Paul styling his brand new handcuffs <laughs> and giving a thumbs up for the uh, Japanese bust of the marijuana in Japan shame on you Paul and here's the two record set they went all out on making this fantastic album Hugely just magnificent covers. Yeah, okay. There's just no label on these, but uh, there you go. <laughs> High budget quality, that's for sure. But yeah, it's kind of fun, kind of neat. Yeah, this is neat. This is one that I bought back in 79 at my record store when this came out. And this was a bootleg copy of it. And I picked it up. I was like so excited at the time. You know, this was like the best, you know, to get stuff like this. And I couldn't believe it. So I was really, really excited. But there you go. There's my, actually my first copy of the uh, live. And the backside showing you all the uh, songs on there and the listings and the Wings logo at the bottom. I mean, they did everything they could making this look legit. Just wish it was a color photo on the front. That would have been better because there is a color photo of that. And once again, no labels. <laughs> Great, right? But back then in 79, you bought uh, live recordings for the quality of uh, getting something really rare. And that's what this was back then. This was quite rare. And it was very cool to get this uh, two record set. And just for fun, I thought I'd show you this one. This is just a CD copy of the uh, 
one that I just showed you of the vinyl. And then there's this CD, which is kind of nice to have this one. And this is another one that's an unauthorized CD. Um, I didn't make this one. I did purchase this one online. There you go. Sorry about your glare there that uh, trying to get rid of it, but uh, hopefully you can read all that. And here's your CD, which is kind of neat. Kind of makes it look like uh, kind of like a promo copy, actually, being a white label like that. And your song listings there. And the second CD. And like I said, the quality of this is phenomenal. Really, really good. Some great pictures there. Then on the back of this DVD that I've got, this unauthorized Paul McCartney DVD, you've got a fantastically good quality color video of the concert with Paul. So I thought I'd just show you a couple seconds of this, but I'm not going to play any audio because I don't want to get a copyright strike. But there you go. It's kind of really, really cool. Very, very good quality DVD. That's for sure. It's fantastic quality. Yep, I love it. I know you're saying to me, Beetle Brad, man, would I like to get this on DVD. How do I find this? Well, you just kind of keep looking online and it does show up. So keep looking. Also, back then, I did belong to the Paul McCartney Fan Club, and this is the magazine that came out, which is Club Sandwich from England, all about the concert itself. And here's some of the pictures from that publication. Bad old Paul. Well, there you go. Rock for Campuchia, Paul McCartney. If you have this one, that's terrific. If you don't, I think you ought to check it out. You might like the concert. It's actually really good. Got a lot of rock in it for a lot of bands. So thanks so very much for watching this video on Paul McCartney and Rock for Campuchia. Hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, I got a lot more to come, so stay tuned. Thank you so very much for my new subscribers. Thumbs up, yeah. And to my old subscribers, I appreciate you being here. Thumbs up. To my old subscribers as well. And as I say on my channel, I'm out of here. Take care, everybody. See you on the next video.